with Jamel Johnson here, uh, prior to the Armed Forces Championships out here in Washington State. Uh, gosh, this is a big deal for you guys, all right, that are in the military programs that come and have this annual tournament. Uh, talk about how important it is for your team to come here and perform well. I mean, it means everything. Uh, obviously, what, what comes with the military is just a bunch of pride. And to come together and compete against each other, it means a lot for everybody. And everybody wants to win and show that your service branch is the best. Now, you've been in a couple of service branches, right? <laughs> yeah. You were in the Army and now you're in the Marines, right? Yeah. So, um, you, you hear it from both sides, right? I mean, yeah. it, it's no different when you're in no, the Army it, or, or in the Marines. The teams are into it. Yeah, it, it's no different serving for the Army, now serving for the Marine Corps. Like, the intensity carries over in all branches. Like, it means everything. That's why it's an Olympic qualifier, you know. Uh, and the competition here is high. I mean, majority of the national team is military, for Greco, at least. So, I mean, that just says a lot. Now, you've won this tournament, right? Yes. Uh, both styles? No, just only freestyle. I've oh, yet to win in Greco. And you want to win in Greco? Yes. I now, do. you're in Greco this year, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so what's it going to take for you to come out of here individually uh, as the champion, meaning, you know, you win all three matches? Uh, I really just need to come out here and wrestle. You know, uh, with the way to determine, sometimes you got to let it go and just enjoy the fight, enjoy the competition, uh, and just enjoy another match, you know, and a chance to show your character, show what the Marine Corps has, and that's what I have to do this time. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the Marine team. Um, I mean, when you're in the Army, those teams won as individual t as teams. And the Marines are getting closer and closer, it seems, in the last couple of years. Yes. I mean, is there some uh, excitement about possibility that maybe this long army streak might get broken soon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always excited. Like, everybody wants to knock the, the guy off the top of the ladder, and, you know, I think we're the guys to do it. Now, uh, is, could it be Greco? Could it be Freestyle? Could it be both? I, I mean, believe, is the team capable of that? I, me, personally, I believe it could be Greco and Freestyle. Well, that's awesome, man. But give us some real fun competition here. <laughs> yeah, it's How, how's be it been exciting. looking? You got your team's experience. Like I know all the guys on it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, even some of the a guy like uh, I don't know, Colton's been around for a few. I mean, pretty much all the guys on this team have been to this event or uh, have been to some high-level events for sure. Do you think that experience will be a factor coming in? Oh, that that experience definitely carries over 100. percent I mean, it's. This tournament is just as big as a ranking series. Like, you know, that's the type of, you know, competition and like, you know, weight that this tournament carries. And like I said before, like, that's why it's an Olympic qualifier. So uh, whenever I talk to any of the Marine athletes, they've got a lot of good things to talk about Coach Wakitis now. Mm -hmm. I, you know a little more about him than just competing with him here in the Marines because he was your college coach, right? Uh -huh. So, yeah, you know, I mean, what, why, why is he such a, a good coach, mentor, leader? Uh, for the men in, in the Marine Corps? Uh, for me, I mean, he, he's really good at, you know, individually coaching everyone. I mean, some coaches, you have like a blanket type of technique and, you know, whatnot, but like he's really good at like, you know, teaching people their type of style, building on their style, and also mentoring them the way they are, because nobody's the same. Everybody has different ticks and quirks or whatever, and he's good at, you know, being able to personally communicate with each of them. So, uh, you know, you, you've got to be one of the more experienced or older guys on this team, right? Yes. Have you got any nicknames for you? Or, I mean, uh, yeah, are you, are you I'm getting any props for that? Unk. Yeah, I'm un uh, Uncle, I guess. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm an old guy. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you've, you've had really good years the last couple seasons. Uh, you know, I mean, is it that your experience is uh, uh, making a difference? Or is yeah, it just, I, I mean, you must feel young and healthy to be able to beat some of these young guys. I definitely uh, feel good. I mean, just getting back with Kitas and, uh, like I said, like individually working on myself along with my teammates, I think that was the biggest, you know, the biggest change for me, and that's what I kind of needed. I needed more work. When I was at the Army, I was real young, you know. I just, just got to that level, you know, and I kind of dissipated because I needed more individual coaching. So um, what's a good weekend look like for the Marines? Uh, I mean, safety brief on Friday, and then, uh, most guys, like, they hang out together, uh, go on, like, beach runs, or they go to the gym, play video games, stuff like that. <laughs> Try to, you know, stay out of trouble. And then just bring it, get to bring it. Yeah, bring it on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> like, congratulations on, A, your successes recently, and, and B, on, you know, coming here and showing America what you got. Okay, Congratulations, Thank you. good deal. Right. Thank you.